To the girl that has entered my life with God's helping hand, you are the greatest gift I could ever receive, and I will cherish and nourish you with all my heart, mind, and spirit. The moment you came into my life, I knew that you were who I was searching for. Your gentle spirit, loving personality, and endless support fill my heart up knowing that you will always be there for and with me. You came into my life with your love and waves, and I began to realize that you were what I was missing. Not a minute goes by that I do not feel grateful and blessed to have you in my life. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and all my dreams come true. We have grown so much together the last few years through some of the highest highs and lowest lows. And I want you to know that through everything, I never doubted us for a minute. And although we are not promised to always be as healthy as we are standing here today, these experiences assure me that we can do anything together. Your kind heart pushes me to be better every day, and your gentle spirit brings peace to my heart. I believe that you need to find a person in your life who makes you a better version of yourself. Well, I have found her. Ever since we met, I believe I have become a better person. You have shown me your unique way of loving and how gentle you can be with it. I admire your gentle, loving touch and your willingness to always be a helping hand to those around you. Your heart is always looking for the next opportunity to care for and love on those around you. We've come together in the presence of God to witness the blessing and joining together of this man, Brandon Roberts Kearney, and this woman, Alexa Monique Borgia, in holy matrimony. To see two individuals join together as one, to see two lives choosing to submit to each other out of love and a reverence for God, a longing to see the other person's needs met, to see two people's dreams and desire merge together to accomplish more than they could have ever imagined on their own. And to see others look at their marriage long term and realize they're an example of our relationship connection to our Creator, to Jesus, the one who delivers us and provides for us, who calls his bride, the church, those that follow him. The basis of this covenant we enter into today is love. At this time, Brandon has some vows he's written uh, that he would like to share. You are a fighter. You are the type of individual to not look at your current circumstances, but beyond them. That is something I've always admired about you. Your persistent and willing spirit to always push through and fight until the very end. If it were not for that same spirit that fought for me, I would not be here today. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for who you are, and I'm filled with joy, love, and peace, knowing that today is the day I get to call you mine for the rest of my life. Words cannot describe how excited I am to spend the rest of my life by your side. Only God knew who we were made to be and how we were created for one another. I thank him every day for your beautiful self he has delivered into my hands and care. I love you. I never understood the phrase luckiest girl in the world until I met you because you truly make me feel like I have found the absolute best and that forever is too short. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for growing with me. And thank you for showing me EDM. <laughs> <laughs> to know you is to love you and to love you is an honor. I can't wait to be your best friend for life. I love you forever and today. Steak sauce. <laughs> now I have the privilege to pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Brandon, you may now kiss your bride.
Brandon, as we spent time getting to know you, we found you to be a man of your word, fiercely determined, hardworking, and fully committed to your faith in God and your love for Alexa, with a gentle heart and a sweet spirit of love and compassion for others. Welcome you, welcoming you to our family has become a blessing. Congratulations to you too as you begin your Kearney journey together in marriage today. friends, right? Everybody is here. Um, we're going to celebrate. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been a part of my life. Uh, it's helped guide me, uh, mentor me, um, encourage me, and love on me throughout my life. Uh, thank you guys. And uh, we have four more hours to, to live it up, huh? pass it along when you think someone is in, you open it, in need of that word or you think that applies to their life. So I wanted to give it to you to have today. And I know you're more of a, a gold jewelry gal, but I apologize because I want you to have this beautiful silver necklace <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can always have a piece of me with you and you can always remember me. And again, I just wanted to say thank you all for coming and thank you for listening. And uh, cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Kearney. <laughs> thing. Thank you so much for being an introvert. <laughs> oh my gosh. Extroverts, you, you run the world. <laughs> you're amazing, but you're intense. <laughs> so thank you so much. <laughs>